fashion star coming out in March. We're really excited about it. Um, I mostly am excited about seeing so many talented designers that everybody will be able to discover. Um, Ross Bennett being one of them. He's such a gentleman. He was so dapper and just had a very powerful edge to all of his masculine touches and women's clothing. It, it was a, a, unbelievable to work with him and be beside him. Hi, my name is Ross Bennett. I'm from Austin, Texas. Um, I'm a fashion designer and you will see me on the next up and coming show, NBC Fashion Star. I started taking sewing classes and I realized that this is actually really fun. I do like dressing women and making clothes and making women feel beautiful and I kind of got good at it. I've never looked at fashion as a design. I've always looked at more of an architecture and taking the body as a foundation and you know taking math and angles and physics and creating garments based off of their own foundation and uh, building it more of an architectural side versus just a fashion design side and taking my idea and the love of clothes, mixing with architecture and you know, making dresses. So my days at the University of Texas uh, really consisted of me waking up late, running to class, um, leaving you know after a frat party the night before, and going to school, and going into class, and running around doing things, not really putting too much attention into the regular basic curriculum, but always had a love for the fashion classes. Um, I was always there. I'd always show up at the studio late at night, um, basically after a fraternity meeting or after a fraternity dinner, I'd go back to the studio when no one was there, and I'd be in there all night working every single night, and my late professor, Dr. Artis Weaver, she used to come in at 6 a.m., and she'd find my pin box and take a needle off of the pins, and I woke up to a pin in the butt every morning. Uh, that's kind of how it was. I got started designing clothing kind of by not really planning on it. I wanted to go to law school originally um, and started taking psychologies and philosophies and didn't really like it. And my mom said, go take a fashion class. And I walk into a room full of 500 women and it's just me and this other dude. And it's about five minutes late to class and my professor said, oh, you must be Ross. Why don't you come and sit down here and let's start class. And I said, okay. Ross Bennett was a wonderful student. He was, uh, well, he was kind of exciting and interesting and, uh, um, innovative. He had a very interesting schedule and sometimes that worked in line with classes and sometimes it meant he would be staying late and sometimes he would appear mid-class. He was always looking for new ways, new fabric um, and he has a, a very keen sense of elegance and style uh, and to see how he's matured over the years is just wonderful. And we had him recently come and talk to the students as they presented and his, his understanding of design and style has really grown tremendously and his work ethic that has allowed him to grow this business is phenomenal. You know, a lot of people have to figure out ways to get creative. Um, the way that I like to get creative is I will go and, you know, go to my deer stand down at, out at my parents' ranch and, or father-in-law's ranch and we'll sit down there and, you know, when I can turn off a phone and I can get away from the world and sit there with a sketchbook or my iPad and just start taking notes and seeing colors of the sunset and colors of the fields and seeing the different colors of the green jays and the blue jays and all the different nature. I'm just able to sit there and you know really come up with ideas and, and thoughts of what I want to do. It's really a nice relaxing way. You know when I'm here all the time designing dresses and being involved with women and, it, and all the estrogen that I'm always around, it's really nice to be able to get out, go south, shoot off some guns, drink a little beer and you know, sit in a deer stand and design clothing. 